wondering where your confidence level is, is at right now with the seven straight games now adding to it perhaps. Yeah, I think it's uh, the highest it's been since I've been in the league. Um, but, um, you know, it took a lot of work to get to this point for sure. And, um, you know, definitely helps with the, with the staff and the coaches here giving me the confidence, the teammates are helping me with the confidence, and then, you know, just going out and doing my job and, and doing it doing it well is, is um, you know, is what I'm here to do. Um, I feel good physically, I feel good mentally, and um, that's really all it is, and I just go out there and play my game, and good things happen. Added a bit of a different dimension last night uh, that was sort of unexpected for us. Was it, it, what, what sparked the fight? Well, I got high sticked in the in the face there. Thought it should have been a penalty, and then then I felt a push from behind, push me in my back. So I just I turned around and I said, "Let's go," and he agreed. So we went at it. Um, I'm not afraid to, you know, get gritty like that. I think, uh, like you said, a lot of people were surprised, didn't expect that. You know, a scrawny little kid like me. Um, but no, like I think that's. That's a part of my game that I'm trying to evolve more on is being more physical and more of a of a presence on the ice that people got to worry about. Um, I think I've been doing a good job of it, and um, you know it's it's been helping my game and helping me stay in the lineup. You uh, you, you tied a career high yesterday too with five shots on goal, and just wondering is that a, a mindset thing that right now you've uh, said you know what I, I got to be a little bit hungrier early on. Yeah, I always like to shoot the puck. Um, Coaches are always telling me to shoot the puck, so I'm going to shoot the puck. Um, you know, more shots you get, the more chances you have of scoring a goal. So um, that's all I'm trying to do. And you know, I think that's a, that's been our mentality as a, as a team as a whole is is get as many shots as we can. Um, you know, we've been getting 40, almost 50 shots the past couple of games, and um, you know, some guys might be a little snake bitten right now. It's not going in, but you know, the puck's not going to go in if you don't shoot the puck. So that's that's what we're focusing on. And um, like we said, shots create shots. And we, re we, re we react quicker on the rebounds. We get that puck back and you know shoot it again. And how do you feel about your, like you produced seven points in 10 games. Your ice time hasn't really at five on five been all that big. Do you feel like you've just really capitalized on, on some opportunities here? Yeah. Um, like I've said previously, I, I knew I could do it. Um, I've just been waiting for the opportunity got healthy this summer, got stronger. Um, so I was just really waiting for that opportunity to prove that, you know, I can be be an elite player in this league and produce and help help this team win. Um, so I don't, I don't know, maybe it's surprising to some of you guys, but I expect that out of myself. I, I hold myself um, to high standards and I, I, I want to be the best I can be. Um, and I'm always wanting more. Um, you guys might think it's great to have seven points in ten games, but I'm looking at it as I should have scored uh, that one time or last night. Should have you know ten points in in ten games. Um, so it's never enough. The bars bars always set high, and um, you know I'm trying to overachieve. The uh, power play opportunities with the Big Ten zone. I mean, seeing pressure there, or is that opportunity? What, what is oh, that? I love it. No pressure at all. Um, that's where I want to be, right? Who doesn't want to be in that spot? Um, you know, they, they're showing confidence in me in that spot and shooting the puck, and I'm going to take full advantage of that and, and give it my all. And, um, you know, had, had two good looks there, just didn't go in. But, you know, who knows, the next two might go in, and I'm just going to keep chugging away and shooting the puck. Uh, go ahead, Josh. Just on your, your confidence, and I'm wondering how the coaches and the people around you, or how have they, what role have they played, I guess, to get to a point where you say you feel you're just tired of well, I think the good thing is, with DJ is is he he tells you exactly what he wants. He it's clear, it's cut, um, it's, it's not overly complicated, um, and really you just you go out and and work hard and and you're gonna get your minutes. Um, you know, just support from you know front office people. I've known Pierre McGuire uh, for a number of years from his relationship with my uh, head coach at Northeastern, Jim Madigan. Um, and, and, you know, he's been a good support system along the way. Um, and it's just, I think it helps to know that, you know, you have that support back in you. And, you know, it gives you a little more, a little more um, incentive to, to, to do well because you have somebody who's kind of gone out on a limb for you and, and, you know, see something in you that not a lot of people have seen so far. And 
Um, you know, as for the coaches, it's been it's been great. You know, I think I think DJ does a really good job at at keeping uh, his players, you know, positive and and upbeat. And you know, he's he's not yelling at guys all game. He's yelling at guys and and getting them going. You know, hyping them up and um, you know he's calling out guys who are working hard and, and, and telling them to keep going. And, and that's something, you know, as me personally, I'm sure every other player feels the same way that, you know, it feels great when you get a little nudge from the coach on the bench after a hard shift or something. And, you know, it's stuff that people outside of the team and outside of the, outside of the you know, uh, rink don't notice on the ice. But, you know, these guys notice and you got to do those little things to earn your ice time and, um, you know, I think as a team as a whole, that's what makes this team really good is everybody buys in in what we're trying to do and everybody works works their butts off in 100% each game and plays for each other and, and that's when we have success. Uh, you talk about the confidence of you know shooting the puck, scoring goals, but your points this week have all been on assists. Is there some confidence in making some plays? I guess most notably uh, the dang order in the week to set up uh, one end zone goal. Yeah, um, I work on that move a lot actually. I've done it quite a few times in at Northeastern and um, you know it's it, that's a that's a shooter's playmaker playmaking move right there you know you freeze like you're going to shoot the whole the whole the goalie of the D thinks you're going to shoot and then um, but you know I, I've always felt like I've had a good sense of sense of the ice and could see the ice fairly well um, I think you know my first few years I was kind of like you know, had the blinders on a little bit, and you know, but now the con the confidence comes back, and the ice just everything kind of slows down for you. And you know, I see I'm seeing the ice well right now, um, especially after a few games with with Terrence on my line and switching out between Enzo and and for me, um, getting used to playing with these guys, it's easier out there too. I know where they're gonna be, I know where they're gonna want the puck, and um, you know, it's just things are kind of folding into. To, into place right now, and it's just um, you know going well, but can't stop here. Got to keep going.